Hi, I'm Jonathan Sue from University of California, San Francisco. And I'd like to tell you about my study, which looked at uh, low body mass index and its association with adverse events in patients undergoing defibrillator implantation. Uh, so what we studied is a large group of uh, greater than 80,000 uh, primary uh, defibrillator implants in the United States through the NCDR ICD registry. And we divided patients into uh, basically uh, body weight or body size based on body mass index. And we had three categories, patients with a low body mass index, uh, normal weight patients, and patients that were considered obese. And we looked at the normal weight population as the reference group. And what we found is that patients with a low body mass index or small patients uh, had a higher risk of uh, three things. Uh, complications from the procedure, in hospital death, and a longer hospital stay. So what was interesting was the fact that uh, obese patients compared to normal weight patients actually did not have any of those adverse events that underweight patients had. Uh, so I think it's a, a new study uh, with a large population in a real world uh, situation showing that uh, body mass index certainly influences the adverse events associated with uh, the uh, implantation of an ICD. I think the implications are that uh, maybe we're paying attention too much to the uh, obese population. Maybe uh, we're concentrating on this population just because we know that it's a problem. But when we're undergoing these procedures, it appears that we may be neglecting uh, the patients that are actually uh, at risk for complications, which are uh, specifically the underweight uh, patients.